Last week's breeding focus is the great day and exemplified by the adorable Banks here, who is still a puppy, believe it or not. Also known as the German Mastiff, the breed originated in Germany from hunting dogs and not surprisingly holds the record for the world's tallest dog. Despite their size, Great Danes are friendly and loving, the gentle giants of the dog world. They're great around children and other pets as they don't tend to have a strong prey drive. Mm -mm. But like most dogs, they can become fearful or aggressive around new things and people, if not properly socialised. Or very loving and licking. <laughs> So early socialisation is a must, as is obedience training, as the last thing you want is a Great Dane pulling you along at top speed or jumping all over people or other dogs. They don't do well though at being left alone, so they do need a lot of human company and a house and yard with plenty of space and room to move around as well as a big couch. And you must be prepared for the high food bills because of course Great Danes eat a lot. Goodness me, they sure do. <laughs> and as a giant breed, they have important dietary needs for proper development of bones and joints. So make sure you chat to your vet about <laughs> nutrition. In terms of grooming, they have light shedders, so are easy to maintain <laughs> and come in a variety of colours, including male, like Banks here. Despite having these long legs, they only require moderate exercise, but at least 30 minutes each day. Puppies and adolescents will need more to help burn up those calories, but no long runs for at least 18 months to help their bones and joints develop properly. Again, due to their size, they're at risk of bone and joint diseases such as hip dysplasia and osteoarthritis. And of great concern in the breed is gastric torsion or bloat where excessive gas builds up in the stomach, causing the stomach to stretch and twist, trapping gas and leading to irreparable damage of the stomach. Mm. Affected dogs can die within hours, so it's crucial to get them to the vet as soon as you suspect that it might be happening. Actually, better still speak to your vet about preventative measures because there are some and the symptoms to help reduce their risk. That's absolutely right. They can also suffer from cardiomyopathy, a heart disease, bone cancer and hormonal diseases, including adrenal and thyroid problems. That's why you should always research and know the specifics about the breed of dog you are considering. Absolutely. Especially That's what like Thanks' you. mum did. <laughs> <laughs> to learn how HIF pet insurance can help your pet in times of need, visit hif.com.au.